What's up, y'all? How you guys doing? Good morning. Hmm. Good coffee as always. Thank you so much. All right, so I made a video talking about my new DJI camera and all this stuff, and I was, you know, showing you like the quality of my camera overall, like you know what it's like so far, how I feel about it, and this and that. And yeah, so far I like it big time. All right, so there's no uh, didn't no changing that. Now the thing is that like since this this is brand new to me, still there are a few things I'm learning about, and like uh, I guess the thing I didn't really um, knew much about until now is basically uh, SD card speed, right? So if I take out the SD card that I got. This one is the Samsung 256 Evo Select, right? So that's this one right here. Just should bring that up. So this is what I got currently. Uh, Samsung Electronics 256 Evo Select uh, U3. So this little guy basically, like and I just mentioned, was given to me by Paul, right? And the thing is that when I was first messing around with my camera, I, I got a Note SSD from an old smartphone and I was getting a um, slow write speed error message, right? So basically what happens is that when I'm recording and then that message pops up and then like it starts to like do that spinning wheel of death thing. If I try to turn it off, you know, it won't react. The uh, camera is basically frozen because it's busy, you know, writing the information of whatever you're filming. You cannot do anything with your camera, so you're just standing there and waiting for the camera to, you know, completely turn off, right? The, obviously, that just becomes frustrating because, you know, you're, you're walking, you're moving around, and it's like, oh, slow ride speed, fuck. They have to stand there and wait for it to, like, finish processing or whatever, and, like, uh, yeah. It's not the point of this, right? You want to be able to point and shoot when uh, you need it to. Primarily, when I was, like, zooming in and out, like, that, like, uh, command of just, like, zooming into whatever, you know, um... It caused the camera to like do like a slow write speed because I don't know, it's just like the zooming action, I guess, takes up more information or oh, fuck, I don't know. Now, doing some like research about like uh, what's going on in the sense of like why am I getting that error is that like the thing is that if we look in the spec sheets for um, the DJI Pocket Osmo, it says here they have a max bit rate of 130 megabits per second, right? One hour later. All right, I just went through like, I was like filming this video and like I, I started to do a little bit of research because I wanted to make sure that uh, I knew what I was talking about to some extent and then I just felt the fucking rabbit hole. It's been like an hour. <laughs> Fuck. Anyways, look, uh, obviously like the SD cards, the way how they're designed, you know, you have like technology, right? See like the little bars or whatever. Yeah, this is a type of interface that they use to be able to transfer format or to record format uh, if information into the card, right? Those little connections, right? So you have like uh, different like little like interfaces here, right? Whether it's like buffering, information transfer, like electricity, so on and so forth, right? If you look up SD Association, they, they had a good little web uh, article here talking about like uh, information that you may need about um, SD cards, right? And pretty much uh, this is what we have or I have for most basic uses, right? The SD interface. I guess SD stands for Secure Digital. Shit, I didn't even know that. <laughs> but yeah, basically, this is an SD or Secure Digital interface. You know, this thing that we use, right, for our uh, most little micro SD cards that we use for our phones or whatever, right? So basically, depending on, like, uh, the rating that you have, here are the speeds. And then, like, you have, like, different classes, right? Now, from my understanding, like, as... Uh, as storage devices start to expand more on the capabilities of what they're able to film in the sense of like 4K or 8K, you know, that kind of like uh, type of videos, then like the write speeds have been advancing as well, right? So they have a chart here to measure like the type of speeds that you are able to record with depending on the SD card that you have, right? But uh, the thing is that depending on what you want to film, like uh, you have like different like uh, measurements of um, speeds that you need to be able to film at that resolution, right? So in other words, if you want a standard video, right? It's just 480p. You're gonna need something that's in the speed class of like, you know, 10, 6, 4, 2, uh, U1 or V10, V6, right? That's the main. And then if you want to get like the 1080p, then you can move up to like uh, U3 or v V30. Then if you want the 4K, uh, you are able to use the bare minimum of a uh, U3 or V3, but V6 is kind of more up there, right? To make sure that you're filming in a consistent uh, bit rate. And then, like, if you want 8K, then you need the V90, so on and so forth. Basically, these numbers, the V30 or U3, basically, it's like the what it's saying is that this is the guaranteed amount that this SD card is going to be recording at. So, for 30 megabits per second, 
you need a V3 card or U3 card, right? So that's uh, the card is rated to re guaranteed at this bit rate. So this is what I uh, have at the moment, uh, the Pog gave me. And uh, as you can see here, that number, the U3. Yeah, this number, the U3, is indicating that it's rated to be able to record at 30 megabytes per second. Now, obviously, then they had to like uh, also keep in mind that there's a difference between megabytes and megabits per second, right? You know, a byte is eight bits, right? So that you had to do some fucking math or whatever. But simply put, that's what these ratings are for. There's just a guaranteed rating system that the card is rated to be filming at this bit rate. The reason why I'm sharing this is because you know I think it, uh, as I was learning more about this, this is an issue that like a lot of people have been dealing with with their uh, their Pocket Three. It is that like you know they get like an SD card. Yeah, on paper, this should be able to work on my SD card, actually, which is kind of odd, right? But the thing is that, like, um, I noticed that as I was filming, um, when I was, like, helping Paul out in particular, when I was filming in 4K, uh, 60 frames per second, this device got not, like, uncomfortable hot, but didn't notice that it got hot. And that was actually part of the... And that's something that, like, uh, people have complaints as well, is that the thing is that, like, when you have a, um, a standard SD card, like the one that I have, in, in other words... This is a select, right? In other words, it's not a pro edition. It's not like an extreme yada yada. The main thing is that you're gonna be dealing with is that if we look at like the pro editions, right? Say like uh, the pro ultimate U3, A2, V3. This number here also makes a difference. A2, I'm not gonna come off like I know what the fuck I'm talking about 100% of the time, but this number here, right? So like, like I explained to you, the U U3 or the V3, this basically is uh, letting you know that this card is rated to be able to film at uh, 30 megabits per second, right? But the thing is, the difference between having a um, a pro uh, edition of uh, an SD card versus a basic uh, entry level card that's uh, you know more budget friendly is that usually these cards have built-in technology that has like a faster like buffering technology and so on and so forth. So when you're recording using something like this like um, the recording speed, the buffering technology, whatever you want to call it, is actually a lot faster. So basically you're, uh, so when it's receiving the information when you're recording, basically the technology that's built into an SD card, it's a lot faster with a better SD card. So that way, like uh, the processing, the creating like the files is like a lot faster, right? Because what happens is then you start creating a bottleneck on this card itself. And then instead of like uh, the card helping your camera, to process the information a lot of the work is starting to like happen in here because you know it can't keep up so that's what causes like the, the handheld camera here to get hot because it's starting to like uh it's trying to process all the information for the sd card type of thing right uh so far that's what i know right so you want to like help the camera by getting in yourself something better than a basic entry level sd card right so another thing to be careful with is that if when you're ordering from like amazon you know there are counterfeit cards out there and that's something you gotta be careful with. So if you don't feel comfortable ordering online, maybe just go to an actual store to make sure you actually have a legit copy versus like buying something off like Amazon or just use common sense, right? Make sure when you're buying something from Amazon, you're not buying from some guy that has like 10 reviews and his name is BBBYOB kind of thing, you know? Just like uh, make sure that you check out the storefront and like make sure the person you're buying from it makes uh it's actually legit right it has a lot of good reviews so on and so forth right yeah so i guess to round up i mean this is actually uh interesting information if uh, you are for those of you that like uh, have left comments saying that you guys are interested in buying like uh, the dji pocket 3 yeah you definitely want to get yourself a new sd card i know maybe for money reasons you want to get yourself something that's more budget friendly but you're gonna have to get something that's more of uh, a pro edition right See, I just like noticed that. See, like the price for this guy is like sixty-six dollars, and this one here is twenty-six dollars. I guess. Oh, it's a Prime Day deal. Okay, never mind. Well, that's what's going on. Shit. I guess take advantage of those like deals, right? <laughs> to save some money. But anyways, yeah, you definitely want to make sure that like uh, you want to like get yourself a SD card that says Pro Extreme Professional. Yada yada. Definitely get yourself a better SD card for your um your new camera. Uh, another thing I guess that like uh, people were suggesting is that instead of you buying one big SD S micro SD card, right? Maybe get yourself like multiple smaller ones. Uh, the reason why you want to do that is because if for whatever reason you're filming all day on one card, and if that card was to fail on you, then you're fucked, right? 
But if you have multiple little cars, you know, yeah, you have to switch them out, but at least you have them more spread out and you're safe. You have backups, right? Or if, you know, you're filming, you notice one doesn't work, then you have another one so you can switch in and be able to continue filming, right? So yeah, uh, if you're getting a new SD card, just uh, be prepared to spend another, like, 30, 40, 50 dollars depending on a new SD card, right? Don't, you know, you're gonna have to get a new card, that's for damn sure. A professional one. Make sure you get it from a legit source. And, um, yeah, <laughs> just plan that out, right? So, it's gonna happen. Alright, that's all I have to say. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Peace.